Salutations and welcome to the farm. It is a beautiful morning here on the farm. I've already been out in the garden. I've uncovered everything after an unexpected frost, crossing my fingers and hoping that everything will be okay. In an earlier video, my husband is my husband is working on my rototiller, getting it ready so we can work on my granddaughter's pea garden. Um, but in an earlier video, I shared with you about how I put my tower garden back together, my garden stock tower garden, and I put it out into the center of my garden, but I only went four tiers high. It's a five-tier garden. I have this tier left over. We overwintered this here in the summer kitchen. We covered it. We tried protecting it in hopes that the strawberries would come back this year, but it was a no-go. So I decided to just go ahead. I might have one strawberry that might have survived. I'm gonna go ahead and clean out this tier of the garden and I'm gonna plant some lettuce seeds and on the top here I'm gonna put some lemon balm. It's not very deep, maybe two, two and a half inches, but we'll see if it supports some lemon balm that I can put into the coop with the girls and maybe dehydrate some to make some tea and put with my chamomile and my mint. So I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna plant some lettuce today. I have one teeny tiny little strawberry plant that looks like it's really making an effort to hang in there with me. It's got a little green on it. There's some new sets of leaves that are supple and tender. So I'm going to leave this in the corner. I'll plant the, I'll plant the lettuce around it and see if it protects it a little bit and encourages it to grow. So the next step is we're going to amend this soil a little bit and get it ready for our lettuce seeds. Add some fresh potting soil that has some miracle grow in it. Give them a nice healthy start. Being careful not to bury my strawberry plant. Now I'm going to keep this tier of this tower garden here in my summer kitchen. I'll put it in front of the screened area that will get some beautiful morning sunlight till about 11, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. A little, little strawberry plant. And we'll see how that does. You know those really pretty little salad bowls that have all the different varieties of lettuce in them? That's gonna be what I'm going for here. Let's add the top little portion here that would normally be used for watering, but I'm going to use it to plant some lemon balm. Let's go ahead and get that into place. Perfect. I can hear my husband out by our granddaughter's little pea garden. And he's already rototilling to get everything ready for the peas. What a sweetheart. Okay, let's get some seeds in the dirt. Okay, so what we're gonna put in this little tier of our raised tower garden is we do have some green leaf lettuce, some red leaf lettuce, some romaine type lettuce and, and also our lemon balm right there and so I'm just going to kind of do it in little clumps around put the lemon balm in the center and then we'll do weekly videos to see how well it's growing in. If you haven't seen the other part of my tower garden I've done a couple of videos on that and also some garden tours so be sure to check out my other videos to see how that's doing. So we have six outer planting areas here. I think we're going to just kind of mix it up and make it look pretty. I think we'll do some romaine, some green, some red, some romaine, some green, some red, and we'll see what kind of staggering garden we get. So let's start with the red lettuce. And I'm just gonna poke a few holes here. Lettuce seeds are so small. I'll just plant a few and I'm sure I'm going to have to thin them out, crossing our fingers, that's if they come up. We'll just put a couple in each hole and see how we do here. I'm not going to cover them in that way. I know I've already planted something in that specific area. Okay, this one here. Let's do the romaine. Okay, 
I hear my ducks are out and about. <laughs> Can you hear them? There. <laughs> In a row. Good morning, boys and girls. Okay, let's do the next one. We're going to do this one here. And we'll do this one green. So we're going to do red, romaine, green, red, romaine, green. Wow, the green lettuce seeds are tiny, 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 tiny. Much smaller than the other ones we just put in. Let's sprinkle, let's see what we get there. Okay, let's start over again. We're gonna do red in with the strawberries, that makes sense. Let's color code everything. received a really nice compliment the other day from Erin over at um, Bramble Hill Homestead and she said country mama you have such a nice soothing voice love watching your videos thank you Erin little known secret is that I used to do radio voiceovers for commercials well, I so put this voice to use to make a little money when I used to work for the local radio station but I appreciate that compliment Erin thank you so much all right, let's get some lemon balm into this top area here. I'm just gonna poke a bunch of little holes. We're just gonna broadcast it over the top and see what we get. There they are. <laughs> For a second, I didn't think there was anything in there. Tiny, tiny, tiny little seeds. Tiny little seeds. So we'll try to get them in the holes. And then we'll just sprinkle. All right, cover it all up. Gently, we don't want to pack it down too hard. I like to just kind of pinch the holes closed, keep everything loose. A little bit of soil left here in my bucket. I just think we'll just put a little bit over each one just in case something's sticking out where it's not supposed to. Don't want them washing away when we give them their first few drinks of water. You see my little stainless steel stock pot here? Future Berkey, future rocket stove. Who knows? Stay tuned. I'm gonna do something with this bucket. But for today, I'm using it for potting soil. Let's water them in. Okay, I've got my little lettuce garden in its new location. It's right here where it will get some great morning sun. It's on a little dolly with casters. So I can rotate it as I need to, and the extra water will drain out the bottom, so I don't have to worry anything about. So I don't have to worry about anything getting waterlogged. And we'll just keep it here and see how it does. You know, when I was at the Dollar Tree the other day, I was able to get these adorable little crafting clothespins. I thought they would be perfect for little things to identify the plants. So I'm just going to write on them what I just put in our little lettuce garden, red red lettuce. I have red, green, romaine, and I'm going to make some as well for the lemon balm, and then I will just put them around my little raised garden. Red, lemon balm, romaine, and around the other side I've got green. If you enjoyed my video today, please make sure you share it, give me a thumbs up, and I would really love it if you could subscribe to my channel. I've got more things to do. We will talk to you again soon. Thank you so much for joining me here on the farm. Have a great day. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. Bye-bye.